So let's understand what the open radio access network is. Open here refers to something which doesn't belong to an individual or an organization. So from RAND perspective, whatever the components are present in the radio access network, be it a hardware, be it a software, be it the different interfaces, and so on, all these different components are basically in traditional RAN are procured by a single supplier, which is a hurdle to innovate the overall ecosystem of RAN. And there are many other challenges in terms of operating the network in such scenarios for operators. So that is the reason different communities have came together to innovate the overall ecosystem of radio access network. So here in Open RAN, there are different pillars of the open radio access network. One is shift from the proprietary to non-proprietary ecosystem, where in conventional RAN, all the different nodes components of the RAN are being procured by a single supplier. It will be shifted to the ecosystem where hardware can be procured by one supplier, uh, another software can be procured from the second supplier and so on. There is no dependency on a single supplier in that case. Also, there is a shift of a uh, disaggregated RAN where the different functionalities are being disaggregated in open RAN. Now this disaggregation will help to have some of the functionalities closer to the user or at the cell site which are real-time sensitive and other functions which are not real-time sensitive can be taken away from the cell site and may be kept at edge or at the regional level. Another important building block is software. Now there are another communities such as ONAP uh, which is a collaboration by Oran Alliance. We'll talk about that. They are focusing on evolving the software continuously and evolving them, coming up with the new feature and debugging any issues present in the current Open RAN ecosystem. Cloud is another important pillar of Open RAN, where in traditional RAN, we have seen that the resources remain underutilized in radio access networks. So going forward through cloud in Open RAN, there will be more efficiency incorporated with Disaggregation, there can be introduction of third party applications such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. And we'll learn in detail in the subsequent slides about how machine learning can incorporate the efficiency in the radio access network, which has not been achieved so far in the traditional RAN. So overall, these six key pillars of open RAN is making a traditional RAN an open RAN. Let's talk about these different components in detail in the subsequent slides. Thank you.